Amazon. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your friendly neighborhood nerd, and we are back with Cobra Kai. <laughs> I have to like settle my heart a little bit. I just watched Love, Death, and Robots. <laughs> I'm doing a reaction to a couple of those episodes and like, so I'm just like, ooh, right now, but it was good. I'm going to just like watch something funny and happy to like soothe my soul. <laughs> and it's just Cobra Kai so yay <laughs> um yeah last episode was great it's been it's been a little bit of a, a couple weeks since I've watched it because I've had a lot going on um but I know Johnny has been working with um his old sensei he's still there so that's the biggest thing and Miguel knows that Robbie is Johnny's son I believe that's, that's where we kind of left off so we're gonna jump into it we're gonna see what happens if you'd like to see the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon. There, we're about three weeks ahead. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my social media. Let's do this. <laughs> Not broken. Have you tried pressing the power button? Yeah, of course. Not an idiot. Have you seriously never owned a computer before? What? Yeah. Don't Not a nerd. Don't shame the man. All right. Let's see what you got. Take it on technology. No mercy. <laughs> He's literally a kid. Oh my God, I love it. Yes, blood sport, what's good? Oh, 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 oh. You gotta block that. <laughs> oh. Uh, stupid ads. Inner peace, focus. Oh, is this an ad for his? Don't be a snake in the grass. Be a champion. Called out. Miyagi Do. And all lessons are free. That's right, free. <laughs> most uh, That means most definitely. <laughs> but you know, I, I think that's cute. <laughs> It'd be nice if you actually earned the Cobra Kai credit you so happy to take. Huh? When are you ever going to sign up? I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying the game without the pain. It's about Sensei. Is this about his rap sheet? Oh, no. He remembered the Robbie thing. That's what it is. It's about him and Robbie Keane. Look, the dealership is going to get all the publicity it needs from Valley Fest. For Miyagi Do, this commercial could be a real game changer. Is this a midlife crisis? Is that what this is? She's just calling him so out. time Jessica Bluestein's husband started that ska band and Scott. shacked up with the Pilates. Ska band. Which ska is great, by the way. <laughs> Asian whitewashing? They're calling me Daniel LaRacist on here. Stereotypical music. That was Mr. Miyagi's favorite song. Look, don't worry about that, okay? Some people have nothing better to do than... That's, that is also very true. Sure, some of those are probably bots, but you'll definitely get a bunch of students. It explains why he's giving a shit for kicking Keen's ass at the tournament. No, you guys. Show no mercy. Oh my God. The sun. That's then we gotta be pussies. Oh my God. You guys. I love Hawk. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of you guys love him, but like. He started his own dojo and he disses Cobra Kai. Snake in the grass. He's talking about us. Miyagi Do. I should have taken care of that old bastard when I had the chance. <sighs> I just don't like that crazy scene. And I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay. I don't want like a whole on karate war. My mom was right. With car salesmen, you always gotta read the fine print. No, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to teach you karate. Come on. Maybe a demonstration. Everyone knows that in life, you get what you pay for. You wanna really kick the competition? <laughs> then you need to get your ass over to Cobra Kai. Teach you the way of the fist. And cut. I mean, I actually really appreciate Daniel's response it's not like him doing doing uh damage or hurting anyone the right for that song will cost too much no I already own it because that's in the car oh but one of those hash browns at the end you know like hash brown team Cobra Kai or something you know he's your son okay yeah that's why you got mad at us after the tournament no it is not is that what you think Okay, Miguel, you 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 got it. Yeah, Robbie's my son, but that has nothing to do with how I run my dojo. I mean, I feel like you two should talk. Oh God, this guy just lurking and smirking. 
or not even smirk. He's just mean mugging. He's just got that face. He's going to do something. He's going to do something. No bueno. And I hope Johnny will kick him to the curb after that. Give him a demonstration, you know, give me old razzle dazzle. Yeah. Huh. That's a great idea, honey. Not a bad idea. <gasps> No, no, Daniel, I was kidding. Think about it. LaRusso training your son like his own. Oh my God, stop. He's just, he's. Not sure how you put up with that. Oh my God, Johnny, just go. Don't, God damn it. Quit trying to fucking fight. I guess it's good you still get that Mexican. The gal's from Ecuador. Thank you. That LaRusso doesn't seek his mitts into him. I hate this man. I hate him so much. He's just ruining all of Johnny's. He ruined his life one time and he's gonna ruin it again. Be sincere. What's going on? Let's go for a ride. But he should connect with him. I will say that. He does need to connect with him. February 4th, 2002. It was a Monday. His mom was in labor for 17 hours. He remembers all this stuff. I wasn't there. Mm. My mom had just died. I was a real mess. I never knew my father, so she was all I had. No. Next thing I know, I'm gonna be a dad. And he's never had a father figure that a healthy one. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not okay for him not to be there. I'm not excusing that. Welcoming him into the world. I was down here soaking up the booze from a three-day bender, trying to get the courage to walk across the street. Yeah, it's one of the most painful things in my life. I love you, John. One of the best things has been teaching you. I'll always be on your side. And I'll always have your best interests at heart. I'm so proud of Johnny. What is it? I, re I really, really appreciate it. You heard that some sort of demo at Dolly Fest? Oh, I just appreciate him. They are, huh? Oh, here we go. But like, I do really appreciate him talking to Miguel because again, it is personal stuff, but him and Miguel have a, a relationship and this friendship and sensei to, to apprentice relationship that makes it, I think, really beautiful for him to tell him and, and also to like ease his conscience. Like, no, I, I do care about you. And Can you not, can you leave it a little bit longer? Thank you. I just, this is really amazing. And he's not doing it the way his fucking since they wanted him to. Not this conniving snake in the grass. He's a snake in open, like, I'm right here. I'm not hiding. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, guys. Very I'm passionate nice. about this show. How are you feeling? A little short notice, but I think we got it. Good, good. What's that for? Dad? Oh, this must have been in. You'll see. Isn't it? See, I watched The Karate Kid 2. I haven't watched Karate Kid 3. That must have been Karate Kid 3, damn it. Okay, but I'm, I am going to watch it soon, so. Please direct your attention to the LaRusso Auto booth for a presentation from Miyagi Do. Turn around, everyone. Ooh, that guy with the nice long hair. Hi. Oh. Oh, he got a stick all of a sudden. It's nice, it's nice. Now Cobra Kai is gonna come through and be like, ka -cha, ka -cha. Now time for the grand finale. Oh, okay. Is this the ice? Cobra Kai! What the hell is going on? Oh, they're fighting fire with fire, baby. If you, if you, if you wanna, Oh, how'd they get it up there? I mean, they're all just beating each other, but yay! Everyone loves everyone. That's why we like gladiators back in the day. <laughs> yes, Aisha! Every time with that bird sound. Every goddamn time, I live for Hawk just because of that fucking bird sound. <laughs> oh, concrete. Cobras, light it up. Light it? Because this is America. Yeah. 
Yeah. Is, you, is it like this, or do you use your hand? Like this. You did it, Sensei. No, we did it. No, it's a tea. Love. Is it? Oh. <laughs> That was sick. I like that. I really like that one. I like that one a lot. Um, for many different reasons. Uh, I, I, so I, first of all, I will, I will talk about Johnny and Miguel's moment because I just, I think that's just really endearing um, and really important. I, I'm not quite sure how people responded to to Johnny talking to Miguel, but in, in my opinion, I think it's really important because it makes us more human and it makes us a lot more relatable. Like we don't have to tell our life stories to everyone per se, but I think me being a teacher and working with young people, you know, I, being vulnerable and sharing experiences, I think is just a, a beautiful way for people to connect and, you know, just have empathy for each other and understanding because like, again, for Miguel and, Hawk, I don't think has gotten, I think Miguel got it. It's just like, it wasn't like you're thinking it's one way and it's not really that it's something else. And this is, you know, this is where it all comes from. So I, it, I think that talk was really beautiful and really important for Miguel and, um, and Johnny's relationship. So like Miguel now knows what it is. And so hopefully now he won't hold grudges against Robbie and just understand that Johnny made a mistake and he's trying to be, a better father now not only to Robbie but also I believe to Miguel like whether it's a mentor or father figure you know he cares about Miguel and he's telling him no matter what I'm still in your corner like I still got your back and I and I he said I um I have the best what is it best interest for you or whatever he says so it's just like he he ugh, I just thought that was so good I'm very proud of Johnny for saying that and because that's hard I think anyone could to can attest to it with something that's really personal and and something that you have a lot of either guilt or regret or just you know sadness about um opening up to people about it is hard and this has been you know this has been the the weight on Johnny's shoulder and now he's he's let someone in and he's talked to someone about it and it was it's cool that it's Miguel so they'll have better understanding and just genuine love for each other um it, the, the Daniel Daniel's got to stop like it's it's very interesting because it's just like he keeps doing like I mean again I'm not taking sides here I mean I do love my Cobra Kai I do but like I get but it's just like I love Daniel too and I understand him but like he's kind of digging his own grave and and it wasn't like extreme like it wasn't no one got hurt, you know, with, with Cobra Kai coming in here, but it's just like, he's, he's making waves when he doesn't have to make those waves. It's like, he can do his thing without jabbing at Cobra Kai just because he doesn't agree with how Johnny does it. Like you don't need to be, you know, being passive aggressive and attacking him. You just, just let him do his thing and you can focus on your thing. You can still make a commercial, but like, you know, to try and take business away from Cobra Kai, it, it's just very petty. So it's just like, that's just going to be the back and forth between them until they can find common ground again. But, you know, I'm just like, ah, Daniel, I don't think Mr. Miyagi would, would, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not Mr. Miyagi, so I don't know what he would say, but I don't think he would really approve of this. Um, and, you know, sorry, Daniel, you got your just desserts there because if you want to do that to Cobra Kai, well, they can do it to you. And luckily, Johnny did it in a way where he wasn't hurting anyone, wasn't destroying anything. He was just like, OK, you want to do that? I can do it, too. And he did. And it was awesome. It was great. It was a great demonstration. Um, I'm really, really happy about that. But, you know, the whole crease thing. I, we need to, I really need Johnny to get rid of Crease. I really do. He's like literally that little devil on your shoulder. Like, I can't, I can't do what I want. And, but luckily, Johnny's not taking his advice. Really. He, I mean, like he, he gives him like the idea, but Johnny now channels it in a much more healthy way. But I think he can do that without Crease there. I really do. But whatever. Um, but this is great. <laughs> I'm going to try and watch one more. And just get inspired some more <laughs> the moment of truth that's what the next one's called okay 
<sighs> let's do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.